you know this is a, uh, a pretty old saying it's not original it might show my age it's a good one it's about opinions I think it's extremely valid for this video opinions are like assholes everybody has one but nobody wants to hear them and that will be today's subject my opinion on riding gear and safety Going everybody back out on the Aprilia today and uh, I've got a very a probably a very short window of opportunity for dry weather it's been raining on and off all day but uh, somehow the roads are dry it's really windy still but I wanted to get out on the bike and I thought I'd chuck the camera on and uh, while I'm enjoying this little break in the weather talk to you guys about like uh, about gear I wear like safety gear gloves jackets pants shoes etc because this is like a safety issue a safety topic even i'm not an expert i've been riding motorcycles for about 20 years since i was a teenager this is just my opinion and i'm sure a lot of people are going to disagree with it a lot of people are going to agree with it it is what it is this is what i do this is my kind of method when deciding what to wear and what to buy i sort of have two categories of uh, riding and deciding on what I'm going to wear. The gear I wear like 90, 90% of the time I would say, 85% of the time is what I'm wearing right now. The aim of protection for me is like my head and keeping my skin on my body basically. Uh, I'm not super super concerned with like armor protection the only armor protection I would not ride without is obviously my helmet oh it's so windy out and if I was going to choose armor that I would prefer to wear I do like having this kind of I have this soft armor protection in my forearms and a back protector like a, a spine protector that's really the only two things I'm concerned about the, the whole every time I ride basically most crashes that you're going to have on the road unless you hit a car you know like if you hit a car you're fucked you know what I mean like your head's covered that's the main thing if you can have your spine covered even better but you know realistically if you hit a car you're going to be in trouble even if you have a one-piece suit with an airbag on you had a car you're going to be in shit but most of the time it's corners like this and maybe you take it a little bit hot or you lose the front wheel and you slide out and maybe hit a barrier or something like that and uh, in that case you know your head's covered and with the gear i'm wearing now i know that i'm not going to be losing the skin on my back and my arms and hands and legs talking about that kind of stuff my daily riding gear is a jacket i wear a leather jacket i do have uh, two other jackets so um, this one I'm wearing now is a leather Alpine Stars racing jacket, uh, like slash road slash racing jacket. And I also have a Alpine Stars textile jacket that I hardly ever wear. And I have a adventure jacket. I think it's a Revit one maybe or something um, that I wear. You know, I used to wear. It's like a Gore-Tex, so it's all waterproof on the outside, and a really good jacket for adventure riding. So yeah, I'm always wearing a jacket. And then in my lower half, I have these uh, Revit pants. Uh, they look just like normal jeans. Uh, they, they, you can put armor in the knees, just, just like thin, that rubbery armor, uh, but I don't have it in. Um, as I said, I'm really just concerned about my skin because if you've experienced that before, it hurts <laughs> and it can, do some serious serious damage if you're you know if you skid out at 80k an hour and you're sliding on this kind of tarmac that we have here in New Zealand it's it's going to be a lot of pain for a long amount of time and then um, so that's it for my body and then on my hands obviously I have these uh, Alpine Stars or the SP8 gloves let me just get past this guy so gloves riding jeans a jacket and then I, uh, right now I have uh, these like city riding boots on, like casual riding boots. Uh, but you know, they have the same kind of like drag protection and, um, and they have a little bit of ankle protection, but not, not a hell of a lot. And if I'm not wearing these, 
I'll be wearing my leather boots. That's my daily riding kit and, and a helmet, obviously. I mean, a helmet isn't negotiable. In my opinion, if you're riding with anything other than this kind of minimum, you know, skin protection, then, I mean, it's up to you. I don't care. If you come off your bike and you, it's your own fault. You know what I mean? So you, we all have to take responsibility for our own choices. And then moving on to the second um, type of kit I wear, it's uh, basically just swapping out the bottom half. So um, I have the uh, matching Alpine Stars leather uh, track pants with the knee protectors in them and they have like a 270 degree zip. You know, they're legal for track use. And um, yeah, that, I mean, that's the minimum you need for a track. Um, I, don't, I don't ride in a one piece suit. Um, but yeah, I have a two piece, this, this jacket is part of a two piece kit. And then I swap out my boots for uh, some Alpine Stars racing, you know, road slash racing boots, uh, which are a lot higher. Um, and like like rigid boots just to like protect your ankles and I mean protect everything you know really I just have those two those two setups the um, the ca what I would call the casual daily rider setup I will wear the the uh, leather pants and the, and the uh, taller boots if I'm riding like really hard on the road I mean which doesn't happen <laughs> really but you know, say I'm going on, like, I went on a group ride before I was making videos. I went on a group ride with a bunch of guys that were on, like, leader bikes. And uh, we were on, like, roads like this, like, twisty roads. And you know what it's like. You can get carried away. And in that situation, I'll usually wear my two-piece leathers and my racing boots. Because just in case, if I'm going a bit fast, I just have that uh, slight bit of extra protection. And it also gives me a little bit more confidence, honestly, when I'm in my two-piece suit with my proper boots. Um, it does give me a little bit more confidence and a little bit more stickiness to the seat. Um, when you're kind of like leaning off the bike, going around corners, it's, uh, it helps with that. But yeah, that was my rant today about uh, riding gear. Um, you guys let me know in the comments what you ride with. Um, but... Yeah, I, at a minimum, something that's going to protect your skin, you know. Um, if you want to ride with like real bulky uh, armor protection, I don't have anything against that. It's just my, like I said, it's my personal decision not to do that. Um, and it's my, you know, if I'm wrong and uh, I, me not wearing any armor in my pants or anything is going to be a problem, then that's my responsibility. And, uh, you know, the consequences are on me. So you make your own decisions and uh, see how you feel about it but um, you know it's a balance my, my daily road gear is a balance between comfort um, convenience safety and a little bit of a little bit of looks mixed in there you know we all like riding with cool gear the helmet I'm wearing is a um, showy Xperit 3 so it's a very uh, track oriented helmet has all the ratings for the road like I think it has all the ratings you can get I'm pretty sure it's a very safe helmet um, but it's very track biased like in terms of aerodynamics um, it has a really good viewing angle and stuff they also have a show it uh, showy Hornet ADV like the latest model for adventure riding and I have a Bell MX-9 helmet which is uh, what I used to ride on my KTM which is kind of a uh, uh, a motocross helmet really that's legal for the street oh and I have a showy GT Air the original one not the GT Air 2 that was kind of one of the first ones I well not one of the first helmets I bought one of the f the first good helmets I ever bought was that showy GT Air before that I couldn't afford anything <laughs> anything else decent That's Piha guys. Piha Beach. I don't know how much you can see on the uh, GoPro, but uh, if you're not from New Zealand, this is Piha. That big rock in the middle was Lion Rock. It's actually quite huge, but uh, we're still up really high. I don't know why I'm even talking about that. I think we've got some more rain coming, but um, I want to keep riding, so we'll head down to the beach and have a look, eh?
this is one of those uh, beaches that everybody seems to know about when they come to New Zealand like tourists you know if you come here and you're in Auckland if you fly into Auckland Airport which is uh, the main it's not the capital but it's the biggest city in New Zealand where I live um, people are going to tell you people are going to tell you to come to Bihar Beach it's uh, quite an iconic beach surf beach um, barbecue kids love motorbikes it's where it all starts I'm telling you a biker waves at you when you're a kid you remember it Next minute, you're on an Aprilia, riding out to the beach, talking about riding here and safety. Ah, oh, Piha. Right, here it is, guys, Piha Beach, the one and only. I'm uh, not one for standing around waiting at beaches. I can't like go somewhere and just sit there for ages. Probably the ADHD talking. But yeah, I'm gonna get back on, do some more riding. I thought before I head home, I'll uh, go down the bottom and show you guys uh, Mine Rock. It's a cafe there, it's a good cafe. There it is guys, Lion Rock in all its glory. It's a bitch of a climb up there, but uh, there is a track going up. I don't know why I'm talking about this because most people watching this video are probably going to be in New Zealand. But anyway, let's get back on the road. Piha Campground. That place gets crazy busy in summer. That dude knows he's got a bag on his roof. Oh, here he goes. Right. Hello. 